We live in a time of lies. We live in a time where uh, companies like Cambridge Analytica manipulate elections, uh, where Facebook uh, manipulates us uh, through mass experiments, through tracking, through deciding what to show us on our news feeds. We have fake news. We have clickbait. Uh, we have the radical radicalization of certain people towards very extreme ends and even just the basic vanilla Republican and Democrat uh, points of view have become so polarized that they're the stories that each side tells themselves are m almost mutually uh, unintelligible to the other. Uh, we live in a time of deep fakes where uh, they can, using, using so-called AI, it's not really artificial intelligence, but um, using machine learning or whatever, however they do it, they can create video where uh, you can make a prominent, famous person appear to be saying things that they have never said, and it looks very convincing. Uh, we even have a blockchain company that uh, aims to root out fake news. I mean, that's how much trust has disappeared from our societies that we need a blockchain now. Interesting company, by the way, called Tribe, tribe.news, that we need a blockchain to keep people honest. Um, and I think the bottom line is that we can't believe anything anymore. We can't even believe video. Even video can be manipulated. And you don't need an artificial intelligence to do it. You can just selectively edit. And you can tell a story that appeals to people's biases. biases. So what is left? What is left when there is no one left to trust? When lies spread more than the truth? When lies are yelled at, yelled, screamed from the mountaintops of places like the New York Times, CNN, Washington Post, YouTube, wherever. Well, I think the, the only things that, that remain to us are um, principle, really. That, that's really all we've got left, principle. Principle and cre critical thinking, reasoning. So when a piece of information comes to us, and this is our responsibility as individuals in an information society. We have to distance ourselves from that information even, or I should say, especially if it agrees with our current biases. That is, if we read a story and we're like, yeah, that's true, you know, all women are like that, all feminists are like that, all teenagers are like that, then all, if, you know, if we find that, that synchronicity with our own uh, prejudices, then we must examine it, that news, that information, even more stringently. Because it's likely that some skilled spin master out there is purposely trying to exploit uh, an intellectual weakness of yours that many of us share. And so, um, what we have is principle, the, our own principles, our own values that we can bring to the analysis of a piece of information. If a piece of information says, all women are gold diggers, well, we can step back from that and say, well, first of all, there is nothing really that's true of all women, other than perhaps uh, anatomical things. But even the trans people would disagree with that. And so we have to bring, our, well, if we have a principle of treating all people as individuals, then we can recognize in a piece of information when groups of people are being collectivized. And we can say, aha, they are collectivizing people. I, 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 this is suspect information. Uh, if we have the principle that of liberty, that people are allowed to do what they like as long as they're not interfering with other people's right to do the same. And if we see a story being woven about how some people's liberties 
need to be abrogated, well, then we know. We, we can come from a place of principle and we can say, okay, there's something suspect here. This is violating a basic principle. This is asking me to go back on a, on a principle of mine. Um, what else do we have left? We have trusted people, trusted interpreters. Isn't it ironic that in an information age when we have more access to information, any of us, regular people, working Joes, than ever before that our reliance on interpreters of the information is even greater than before because we don't have time to go through it all. And therein lies some risk. Um, and that's why we have to rely on principle. I think we're going to see a resurgence of principle in the future as people realize that any piece of information that comes down the pike, no matter how much we love it, no matter how much it agrees with us, no matter how much we say, yeah, that's right. In fact, even more so if it feels that way, we have to challenge it. We have to approach it critically. We have to use our critical thinking skills. And I'll tell you one book I read recently that is really good on this topic is uh, Robert Cialdini's, I think that's how it's pronounced, Influence. Really great book. It teaches you a lot of tricks that people use to, to trick you. To trick you into doing what they want you to do. Highly recommend it. It only took me a couple days to read it. Give it a read today. And remember, stick to principle above all else, especially when everything is confusing.